Pixelkin. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse for Nintendo Wii U is coming out in less than a month. Let's take a look at what we know about it now based on the latest info from Nintendo. Once again, Kirby is on a mission to save his homeland. What instantly stands out about Rainbow Curse is the animation style. By using modeling clay, Nintendo is keeping its famous kid-friendly style without compromising on image quality. It's a great way to show off the Wii U's HD capabilities without losing that Nintendo charm. The gameplay itself involves drawing rainbow lines on the gamepad and using them to direct Kirby through obstacles. I like that Rainbow Curse is taking advantage of the Wii U's unique gamepad feature, but I'm worried that this style of play may prevent the player from looking up at the TV at all. Unless you're very good at drawing without looking, single-player Kirby may wind up being a lot like a mobile game. That's just single-player mode. I'm pretty excited about the multiplayer mode in this game. For one, all of the players are working together instead of competing with each other, much like in Super Mario 3D World. Since there's only one gamepad per Wii U, only one player will be drawing the rainbow strands, so you can expect to take turns passing the gamepad around the room. You may also have noticed that Kirby has twice as many lives as the other characters. It will be interesting to see how this figures into group dynamics. Of course, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse is compatible with some of Nintendo's collectible amiibo figurines. You'll need either Kirby, King Dedede, or the Meta Knight amiibo to take advantage of these features. By simply tapping your amiibo onto the Wii U gamepad, you unlock special power-ups. Each amiibo will have a different effect on your game. I'm optimistic about Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Kirby games are traditionally really fun, and I'm particularly looking forward to the multiplayer mode. If you like family gaming, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and visit pixelkin.org for more great content like this.